and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to try and do things a little bit differently. I'm hoping to do a one take beer review. Now um, I may still decide to put in some kind of uh, artsy shots of the camera, some music now and maybe I did, maybe I didn't, we'll find out after when you watch this in the future from now but anyway um, and I kind of figured I've got quite a few cans of this shipyard pale ale in. It is a beer I've never had before and well, a friend left them after have a little party at the weekend, so if we can try this, and if you're seeing this video, then this went okay, and I guess no one will know if you don't. So, uh, yeah, this is Shipyard American Pale Ale, very common to see in UK supermarkets now, allegedly still craft, although I'm not actually sure who owns these, I feel like they might not really be anymore, but I could be mistaken, I don't want to make assumptions about something I don't really know. So, yeah, Shipyard American Pale Ale, Portland, Maine, USA, Let's get into it. So here is a quick look at the can. I'm also doing this blind. I can't. I don't have a monitor up or anything. I can't see what you can see. So I hope that was in focus. And if it wasn't, here's a picture of the can instead. And let's get it open. So. Of course, I'm trying to do a one shot and therefore I can't even get a can open. This is actually the first review out of my new beer fridge, um, which is nice. Uh, it's very cold. Um, not that they weren't cold before, but I kept having to keep them downstairs and running around. Right. It looks like a lager in the glass, not going to lie. Very pale. Um, very pale, very carbonated. Got that resinous, bit dank thing going on. It's a smell that makes me think there could be citra in it, but I'm not entirely sure. For those who are unfamiliar with the channel, uh, citra is my hop nemesis. I just don't like it. It doesn't like me. Although there are exceptions, so hopefully if it does, this is one of them. We'll find out on the back of the can in a minute. But um, aroma-wise, a little bit... Citrusy, a little bit floral, quite dank, bit resinous. Um, smells a bit like a watered down version of that um, CBD Northern Monk beer I did a few weeks ago, but anyway. Not much else going on there. Quite a good looking beer, but I'd say very pale, very lager esque. Right, cheers. It has, hmm, well that changes. That went, I was a little bit concerned, I was very concerned, and then quite a pleasant aftertaste. So, I'm just going to do a top to bottom taste profile so you can try and understand what I'm talking about. Initially it's a bit bitter. And then you get a very quick ascent of the kind of dank resinous bit. I never know really how to describe that other than like that because it really is something onto its own. It's a bit, um, it's a bit herbal. It's a bit, um, it's a bit kind of cruciferous vegetable-y, Brussels sprouts, you know, that kind of jam. Um, so with some quite strong lemon and grapefruit flavours ascending and then it peaks quite quickly goes it's sharp up but then stops not long after and then there's a bit of a sweet lick of citrus and then the real surprise comes after that which there's quite a clean malty finish on it which I really wasn't expecting. It doesn't hang around too bad. Um, I don't know if there's citra in this or not. Um, I'm inclined to think not, but I don't know. Let's find out. Let's take a quick read on the can. Shipyard American Pale Ale, Portland, Maine, USA. 4.5% volume. I like that they called it a pale ale rather than an IPA. 4.5% and proper. Uh, it says, proud pioneers of original American craft. Handcrafted from a family-owned brewery. 
interesting. Family owned brewery, not family owned business, but that might still be the case. Um, it says, from his family owned brewery in the heart of Portland, Maine, famed for shipbuilding and ambitious world discovery, Fred Forsley drove the original American craft beer movement. His mission to this day to take it original American craft beer around the world, making it accessible to everyone. Um, style, American Pale Ale, ABV 4.5%. Visually pale amber, yeah. Uh, grapefruit and lemon, zesty citrus fruit, bitter, three out of five. Yeah, fine. Sweet, two out of five. Yeah, it's not crazy sweet at all, actually. Um, it's definitely not a very sweet beer. And who is this owned by? Brewed in Canned in the UK. Why? Brewed and Canned in the UK by Rose. Why is that suddenly gone into French? Oh, okay, sorry, that's the French for brood in the UK. Right, brood in Canada in the UK, Marsden's PLC. Now, I mean, there are worse companies that could own it. It's still definitely a British beer institution that owns and produces this. Um, don't excuse my squeaky chair just then. Um, but it's not from America. Might be styled on. No wonder it's easy to get in UK supermarkets. Um, which begs the question, is this even available in the US? American viewers, can you get this? Do you know what this is? Have we been properly duped? Um, I'm glad to say I didn't buy this. I say it was of a few cans left over after a party. Um, and I don't hate it, actually. I now know that if someone offers me one, I don't have to recoil in, in terror, um, as I thought I might have to. But... It's okay. Definitely want one more than a couple. I don't know, but that aftertaste keeps you wanting to go back for more. It's a bit of unpleasantness followed by a real gem at the end, which is, I don't know, just a bit of a headache really when it comes to trying to determine whether you like it or not. In terms of quality, it's a bit thin. It's suspiciously clear, now we know why. Um, is there anything else to say about it really? What we'll say is this, not many beers at this price point, and I don't know how much this is, but I don't think it's particularly expensive for craft, although it's probably not craft anymore. Um, it does have an interesting variety of flavours. You don't get that dank, resinous stuff in beers at this price point very often, if that's something that you like, and that's a go-to. You also don't get a lot of IPAs or pails at this price point that have a nice biscuity, I just realised I'm trying not to burp on camera and I'm doing a beer review, it's probably quite pointless. Um, you don't get a lot of uh, beers that do that kind of nice biscuity finishing malt note that this does at this price point either, certainly not in this style anyway. Um, so it has some perks but it's not probably going to change your life unless, unless crass, crass, crass is not the right word, unless craft beer Pale flavours is your thing, but you don't like anything too strong, too rich, too much, and ultimately you want something at a price point, and you might fill that. It's okay. It's okay. I don't hate it anywhere near as much as I thought I would. Um, I say I had an inkling that it wasn't properly craft produced anymore. I don't know where that came from. I think I was overheard someone say something about it once upon a time, but... Um, yeah, I drank it pretty quick. You know what? It's not bad. I don't hate the fact that I've got a, not a fridge full, but, you know, a, a decent few number of them. Um, I'll definitely polish those off. Yeah, it's okay. That's all I can say about it. Shipyard American Pale Ale, not really craft beer anymore. Brewed in the UK, American craft beer. That's a hell of a long title. Um, it's all right. Then we'll leave it there. Cheers.